Hello everyone and welcome back to Mastering Fusion 2.5. In this video we're going to be dealing with the problem that many games face in Click Team. The fact that the frame rate is locked at 60 FPS and you can't really do anything about it. Well, you can't really actually do something about it. It's called um, Delta Time. And like other engines have it. It's just that we have to get it in Click Team manually. So that the game can actually make use of monitors with higher refresh rate. So for instance, let's set this application frame rate to a thousand. And let's let's see, well, let's have a counter here that constantly adds up every single frame. We're gonna have uh, an always event and add the counter one. Okay, so let's first of all set the application to 60 FPS and see what happens. So you see the counter goes up every single frame drawn, right? Okay, but watch the speed of the counter. See, yeah, it's going pretty fast, but watch what happens when I set the frame rate to a thousand. Watch. Now the counter's gonna be going up really, really, really fast. Because we're allowing clicking to draw a thousand frames every second, it also has to call the game logic a thousand times a second, which means that the counter goes up a like a lot faster than uh, 60 times a second. So what is the solution to this problem? Well, logically, you have to think about, okay, if the game calls this a thousand times every second, how do we make it not call it a thousand times every second? That's one way to approach it, but another way is to get the amount of time that has passed in between every frame to kind of normalize the speed at which the uh, thing is being called. So this is the way better approach, usually. And, you know, sometimes you really do need to have uh, multiple uh, execution intervals in the game. So, for like random uh, random number generation, for instance. So, like, you, you can't call an, a random number generator every single, like, delta time. How would that work, right? Anyways, uh, so to implement this, you need to first set the event order to global events, frame events, and behaviors or whatever if you want to have behaviors before frame events up to you but make sure just global events are first and in global events um, we're gonna make an always event and it's really simple we just have to make a global value called uh, delta time you can just have this anywhere in your game that doesn't really matter if you have a game already you're gonna have to work on replacing the game logic for I mean, not, not replacing, but like adapting the game logic for this system. It's, it, it really depends on your game, how much it like uh, checks every single frame shit that happens and, you know. Okay, uh, always change a global value. Set delta time to 1.0 over... Why the hell is that? Minus, okay. Over frame rate. And that's it. Um, in order to have this counter be integers again we're gonna yeah i think we can just like uh add one add delta time to counter i think that's gonna work yeah so now no matter what this counter is gonna add up uh i think once every second so let's see um Let's set this frame rate to 60 again, and it should be the same speed. Yes, it is running at the same speed. Look at that. It's beautiful. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, to make it go as fast as it did before, let's add delta time times 10. Yeah. I mean, you have to play around with it a little bit, so... I think now that it, like at the delta time, it adds up to one second eventually. You can go times 60 to get the 60 FPS effect no matter what. Just just play around with the constant values until you get your desired effect. Uh, we, we could have a, like an active here that moves. So in... I have like a script here uh, on my second monitor. In, in the script I mentioned how you can have the active move uh, from point A to B in the same interval, so yeah. Um, let's make this active move. So, uh, the thing with delta time is you have to use uh, a bunch of variables in order to counter the effects Click Team has by default. So, 
no uh, data type conversion uh, position you can't directly interface with position with delta time because position is an integer type and delta time is like float so you really gotta set the values uh, like set alterable values to delta time or something uh, so let's say uh, let's have a bunch of values on this so we get um, current x current y target x target y okay target x and y to be at 300 300 okay and current x and y is just gonna be uh 46 and 54 whatever the start position is so start a frame all the values set current x to x of active capital a uh alt values set current y to y active okay so alt values set current x to uh you know we're just gonna do the like interpolation thing so the like linear interpolation thing so current x plus target x active minus current x active times 10 times delta time current y it's gonna set current y active uh, target y active current y active times 10 times delta time and position set x coordinate to current x of active y coordinate to current y of active yes okay and as you'll see it moves to that spot no matter the frame rate this is 60 fps let's go in 30 fps should take the same amount of time look at that it takes the same amount of time 10 fps Yeah, I mean, like when you're going with frame rates so low, yeah, you're bound to lose some detail, but whatever. 60 FPS. All right, let's set the frame rate to 1,000 FPS. Same time, same time. Look at that. Like this, this is really powerful if you know about it. I didn't know about this for most of my click team, like I don't know experience, but. I I only learned about it um uh, in 2021 like late 2021 right I was working on my game you know it and I just happened to you know I I was experimenting with ghetto as well like you know the however the however the fuck you say it ghetto like this okay and I was experimenting with that and in that thing you have uh, two functions that you call every single frame like physics process and process and you get the time interval that has passed since I think either the, the last call of the function or the frame being drawn you have the delta which is like the delta time thing right and you use that for getting the game to run at the same speed no matter the frame rate so when when I learned about that I was like okay how the hell do you make this in click team because I, I need click team for the, the game that I'm making right because I, I started making it in Click Team like in 2020. And I didn't really know how to code that well back when I started working on this. I mean, we're, we're going to get to implementing actual code in Click Team as well. Eventually on this tutorial series, which is going to be really fun because uh, I'm currently experimenting with that as well. So yeah, I'm really excited for the future episodes of this. And I think I'll release um, this video along with the, with the first video on the same date. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. Well, anyways, that's about it for frame rates. Uh, now let's move on to execution rates. So, it's not really anything that different. Think of it like this. How do you get back the 60 FPS functionality of the game? It's like, if, if you're too lazy to adapt all your logic, or you have, like, random number generators that change every single frame, 
Well, if you want to have that in uh, 1000 FPS, uh, you, you will need to know how much does a 60 FPS frame last. To calculate that, you just need an, a calculator and you just uh, divide 1000, which is the maximum number of frames that you can have in a, in a single second in click team. So divide 1000 by 60 and you get 16.66. And you know, coincidentally, there are a thousand milliseconds in a second. So that that's how many milliseconds a frame lasts. And also, that's how... That's the unit of the click team timer. Uh, thousands of a sec... Thousandths of a second, or milliseconds. So, it's pretty easy to have multiple execution intervals. You have every... Use the calculation, 16.66. That's it. And now you just have all this, except you don't really use delta time anymore. You just use it the way you would before, times 0 0.5 as well. And that's it. And guess what? You have the same thing, no matter the frame rate, except that it only updates 60 times a second. That's about it for this tutorial, I think. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Um, I don't really know what's gonna, what it's going to be about, but I, I, tr trust me, I have I have a lot of shit planned for this, so stay tuned.